Hey everyone, this is Melissa from DJ Event Planner. Today I'm going to show you how to create and send a quote to your clients. Maybe you want to email the client a quote from their event. Or maybe you need to change the financials at a future point, such as if you upsell them extra add-ons or they choose another package. Once that event is created in your account, you are then able to get a new quote based on current event and email that quote to your clients. DJ Event Planner offers an instant quote website tool for use on your website that potential clients can use to get a quote for their upcoming event. When they use that tool and you receive an inbox message in your DJ Event Planner account, you can create an event directly from the message in your inbox. Let's get started. Today I'll be using our DJ Event Planner demo account. First, in order to send a quote via email to your client, you will need to create either a document template or an email template in your account using the appropriate merge tags for your financial quote information. To create a document template, go to Setup, then Documents. You can either add a new template and create your own quote document using the correct merge tags, or you can go to the document sharing option and find already created quote documents from other DJEP users. Once imported to your account, you can edit the template to personalize to your needs. To create an email template, go to Setup, Emails, then Add Template. For more on how to create document and email templates, please see our video tutorials labeled Document Templates and Email Templates on our DJ Event Planner YouTube channel. First, let's take a look at this quote document template. Using the merge tag options available for financials, you can customize the template to show your quote as you would like. In this example, you will see that this quote will show the package name, description, and price. This quote will also show additional services in the form of add-ons. You can customize your template to show more add-ons as needed. In the summary of charges, we have included the financial fee merge tag for package, overtime, tax, and add-ons. Next, we've included the deposit amount, discount, and tax. We've added a total fee merge tag towards the bottom. And on this particular quote, if any payments have been made, we've added the total fees minus payments balance at the bottom of the summary of charges. Once created, this document can be sent via the email tab within the event. To create an email template that will show quote information, go to Setup, Emails, Add Template. The email template can be created using the same merge tags for financials and payments as used in documents. You customize the email template to your business needs. This sample quote email template we have in this account shows event details as well as the pricing details for that event. The pricing details include the package name and description, the package price, the deposit fee, the list of add-ons assigned to the event, and the total fee. Next, let me show you how you can change a quote in your event financials and send that information to your clients. Find an event in your account, then go to the Financials tab. You'll see here the package chosen for that event and the list of add-ons included. If you want to send this financial information to your client, then go to the Emails tab and send your quote email or choose a blank email and attach your quote document to it. Then hit Send. 
If your client is interested in perhaps a different package or would like to add additional add-ons to their financial plan, then you can create a new quote on the Financials tab. On this tab, scroll down until you see the buttons labeled New Quote Based on Current Event and New Blank Quote. If you want to start over with a completely new quote for this event, choose the New Blank Quote option. Add your new package and any details, overtime fees, taxes, discounts, etc. Once you're satisfied with the new financial information, then click on Save Quote. On this page, you will have the option to send the quote email to the client or to print or save the quote document to the event. If you just want to add or change financials for the event, then click on the New Quote Based on Current Event. Choose or change your add-ons, edit pricing, add any other financial details you like, then click Save Quote. Again, on the New Quote page, you will have the ability to email, save, or print any related quote templates. Back on the Event Details page on the Financials tab, you will see now that two new quotes have been created with today's date and total financials. Once your client has agreed to whichever new quote you have sent them, then you will view that quote, then click on the Make Active button located here. This will change the event financials to the new quote you've chosen. From that point, with the new financials in place for your client, you can move on to the next step in your business workflow with that client. And that's how you create, email, and save a quote for your clients. We recommend that you create a test event in your account somewhere way out in the future so as not to disrupt your current financial reports and test these techniques for yourself to get a feel for how they work and adjust them according to your workflow. If you are seeing this video and have not yet signed up for our 30-day free trial, please do so at djeventplanner.com.